welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the psychic medium and channel. Ready to do another show? So let's get started. So, okay, just a real quick hey, Stevie, how are you? I hope you're having an amazing day, buds. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the show itself. It airs on WSCS, Rude Rangers TV. All of their, um, I almost call them like their computer channels or stations. <laughs> all of their streaming stations. Also like Roku and um, all of those stations. Almost every podcast. And of course, YouTube while I re where I record it to put it out to everything. So thank you, YouTube. Um, also, there's something else. Oh, I will never reach out to you. Don't get scammed. Listen, you know, there's just a lot of scammers out there. There are lottery scammers and this scammer and that. There, there's just a lot of scammers. Okay. Just don't get scammed by anyone for anything, but I personally will never reach out to you. Okay. I don't even like, like, I will not email you in the comments, I will not tell you, you need a reading. I think if a person needs a reading, they know that they're going to reach out to me. Um, they're going to say, you know what, I have a question about this, or I want to connect with them. And then they reach out. Um, so yeah, so I, I will never personally reach out to someone uh, probably 90% of the time because I'm just taking a nap. I'm just napping and not not, not bugging people, just living in my bubble, just living in my bubble of a nap. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, God, I think, oh, gosh, the things I share. As long as people laugh, I don't care. I don't care. Okay. Um, the other thing, let's see, I covered, I will not reach out to you. If you want a, a private session, you must reach out to me. Um, and then, um, let's see what else, what else, what else. Okay. I want to thank everybody for joining me live on YouTube in the chat. And Hey, if you do want to join the show live, if you want to be part of the live recording, um, it's every Monday and Wednesday at noon central time. And you can join us on YouTube and join into the chat, or you can call in 845-277-9131. If you uh, call in and you have a question, you do have to push the one button to be able to add, ask the question. Um, I take questions about life, love, career, finances, any aspect of your life at all. And... Excuse me. I also will help you connect with loved ones on the other side if you do so wish. On that note, I want to say hi to everybody online. Hey, Steve. Hey, Patrick, Genevieve, Caroline, Jules, Miss Jules, Rebecca, the random person. Who is Heather? <laughs> That's Heather, everybody. And uh, there were a couple others. Fawn. Um, if I missed anybody, I, I I certainly do apologize. I it's never my intention to miss anybody. I want to thank a, a couple. I want to say hi to a couple of people who listen. I I know they always listen to the show. Um, sit, uh, Cindy, who is um always listens to the show. Hey girl, how's it going? And Jessica, hey, how are you? And by the way, you guys, look at this. My girl, my friend, just sent me these for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> so, yeah, how awesome are they and beautiful? Girls, girls getting girls. That's all I can say. I am not as good of a friend as she is. Apparently, she's an awesome friend. She got me these. What did I get, Jess? I, I gave her a thank you for Valentine's Day. <laughs> I I I dropped the ball on being that good friend to my single friend. <laughs> she did not. She held me high. <laughs> Just saying, they are gorgeous. And thank you, girl. You know I love you. I have you for St. Patrick's Day, and I'm working on Green Bay for you. Reached out. We were communicating yesterday for you. She knows what that means. She 
She does. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. I love these. They're beautiful and they mean so much um, because I know her heart was all in on those. I know it. Okay. Um, thank you, Patrick. Yes, everybody listen to Patrick. Everybody read the chat and listen to Patrick. I agree 100%. Uh, Patrick. Okay. A couple things. Um, at the beginning of the show, if there have been any songs that have been coming through, I will say those songs. And then, um, and if that, th that song either a answers a question means something to a loved one on the other side means something to you, reminds you of something then that, you know, that song's for you. It doesn't have to be for one specific person. Same thing with names. If I say a name, that name could be for several different people. It could be, it doesn't, like, if I say a name and that name means it's it's somebody on the other side for you or it's your name, it could it could be for several different people. That's all I'm going to say, okay? Because I, the more I try to explain that, the, the more I feel like I'm losing it. Okay, so the song that I came through on Monday is still coming through, and I'm going to sing that again. So if my singing upsets you, please cover your sensitive little ears at this time and point. Um, I'm not the one who's so far away when the snake bite enters. Something about my vein. Um, so that song, I, I know I said it on Monday, whoever that was meant for on Monday uh, probably did not get it yet. So it's still here. The other songs, they crack me up. You guys, these songs were cracking me up this morning. I was laughing. Um, how sweet it is to be loved by you. Yes, it is. <laughs> I can't even... <coughs> I can't even. Um, hey, Mo, how are you? And then the next one is, let's get it on. <laughs> Somebody old school is coming through large and in charge. Um, and then the next one. Um, okay. Uh, the next song is, it took me a moment the way I wrote it. I was like, oh, what is that? And I'll explain it in a second. The next song is um, Aretha Franklin, Respect, R-E-S-P-C-T. You don't know what that means to me. And yes, I know I'm out of tune. I know I'm whatever. And then I'm the song, I like it when you call me Big Papa. <laughs> Okay, now again, these could be a song that somebody on the other side loved that you love or meant something to the two of you, or they're just answering a question right now for you. And if 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 I love it when you call me Big Papa is answering a question for you, your next song is get down on it. <laughs> if you really want it, get down on it. I can't, I can't even, I couldn't even, I need you all to know I am not witty enough to put that all together like, like that, I, I am not. Okay, and then the next song is One Down, One to Go, something, 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 and a show. Um, I don't know if anybody knows what that song is, but it, I, I know that 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 statement itself, One Down, One to Go. Uh, another town, another show. Okay, um, is is coming through, and then um, the the last, as far as songs for this moment, the last song I'm hearing is and Free Bird. I don't know if that's a song or that's the band, but Free Bird. Okay, and I'm hearing Free Bird and Leonard Skinner. So maybe it's the song by Leonard Skinner. I, I'm not sure. And then I'm hearing this name and I've been hearing it all morning and I want to apologize. Leonard Skinner. Thank you, Patrick. I really want to apologize um, because I know I cannot say this name correctly. Um, Eriberto, 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 Eriberto. I can't say the name correctly, but if that is for you, you know it. That is, if that's for you, you know it. You know that's for you. Okay. Having said all of that, 
in a moment, I'm going to start taking callers. And the call, when I say your area code, please let me know where you're calling from um, and your first name. And then if you have a question, make your question exact. Um, and then um, if you want to connect with a loved one, tell me the name of your loved one, the first name of your loved one, and uh, 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 their relationship to you, like Judy, my mom, um, whatever it is. And then um, if you have a specific question for the loved one, I'll try to get that answer, question, closure, whatever it is. Okay. Um, I do private sessions, so if you have a lot of questions or you have something more in-depth, like, tell me about my next six months, tell me about, you know, all the messages or all my loved ones, or that's more of a private thing. This is a one-and-done, kind of like Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I hope I'm not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh i'm so sorry oh my gosh don't do tinder it's the st i i can't tell you what to do you're the boss but so many people i know on tinder are walking away with the lifelong gift of stds stay off tinder <laughs> and no guys listen i know not everybody is aware of this I'm just going to say two things here. Number one, even if you wear, even if you cover it up, who's that big? Even if you cover it up, even if you're covering it up and it takes two hands to do it. Oh, Jesus. Um, you can still catch things. Flesh on flesh, any place, flesh on flesh, okay? You can still catch things with protection. Just know that, okay? If you're wonking your winky, you can catch something even if it's protected. Just know that. And uh, the second thing, what was the second? I think the first thing cracked me up so hard I can't even, I can't even go into the second thing. Oh, well, whatever. If it comes back to me, it was meant to be shared. If not, it is what it is. But just, you know, yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Not worth it. Just not worth it. Um, <laughs> what? Yes, Patrick, wonking your winky. I don't know what. I don't know where these statements come from. Oh, oh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's get into it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go again. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go again. Okay, later on, I'm going to talk a little bit about some either dating or spiritual stuff. But right now, I'm just going to start taking questions and callers. The first uh, caller is 203203. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, it's Pat from Connecticut. How are you? Good, Pat. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Excellent. Um, I I think you know about my engine being blown, and um, the judge awarded me half the amount, and the mechanic's not paying. So yesterday, I just filed. The next step is to file again, um, executing whatever, whatever, um, and then a sheriff goes after him. And I've been told that the sheriff has to figure out where he does his banking. I know this guy, from what I'm looking up and finding online, is pretty sneaky. Do you see me uh, having success with this? I picked a particular sheriff. His name is Levine. And I heard he's kind of like a dog after a bone. Do you think I will have luck? Yes. Um, getting my money. Yes. And also, um, for you and anybody else listening, I know there are a number of ways to get information on people. So if, if, for example, the appropriate way to use this would be if you're a landlord and somebody gives you a phone number, you can do a reverse lookup on their phone number and find out a great deal of information about this person. I do feel like the person, the sheriff that you picked is good. 
I feel like don't have too many expectations. I do feel like there's going to be some sort of seizure um, in this case. I don't know if it's a seizure of property, a seizure of money, whatever it is. I just hear the word seizing something. Um, and right. You know what, Pat? I'm going to say this for you and everybody, you know, listening and watching. Hindsight is 2020. When you take your vehicle in, to anyone, your your assumption is they they have a shop, they must be good. You'd be amazed at what you can find in reviews if you scroll down far enough. Okay, you would be amazed. And I know hindsight is 2020, but now we know for the future just to look up reviews and put in the business name and reviews, and you will be amazed at what you find. And I really implore you to write a review on every place possible about this person um, and see, yes. because sometimes people will pay you just so you take your bad review down. Not me. I, I'm uh, not that person. Wow. Nobody should do that to me thinking um, anything like that. I'm not that. I, I don't I, care what people think of me. Go ahead, Pat. <laughs> I figured I'd do that after and all this is settled. No, do it now. Probably do it not now. a good idea. No. Do it what? now because do it now. Do it now. I am going to tell you. Um, I'm. I'm just hearing you should do it now. Don't do it after everything settles. Do it now. And I feel like this is going okay. to be a little bit of a process. Be patient, but stick it out. Okay, love. Oh yes. It's been a long process. I'm patient. Tony, thank you. you. Love you. Love you too, sweetie. You have an amazing rest of the day. You too. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye for now. I'm going to go directly to 6, um, 630. 630, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi. Hi. This is Lisa from the Midwest. Hey, Tony, I liked your thinking today. I know you didn't think you think good, but I thought we should get more into it. I thought you were good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I kind of felt you were reticent to kind of sing, but you really should. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. The big joke right now is that somebody, and I took the comment down, um, but somebody had, and every time I sing, I, I say, you know, I know I can't sing. I know I'm out of tune. Don't email me. Don't, don't tell me. It doesn't matter if that's the way spirit wants to communicate. And somebody publicly left a comment saying the singing must stop. And I was like, no, mm -mm, you're not the boss of me anyway. So thank you for that. Um, how can I help you love? How can I help you? What's, what's your connection or oh, question? Okay. for the day? So, Yeah. Just the one question. Um, yeah, I just wonder, do you see a move for me to find a property um, this year? Um, yeah. Yes, yes. And actually, okay, so of course this depends upon spending, like how much you want to spend, where you want to spend, um, if you're willing to, um, yeah, comp compromise a little bit. I do find, feel like you are going to find a property. Now, I hear the fall. Um, August, September, I feel like you might find the property then, or you'll be moving into the property then. Either way, um, that is what I am hearing. And I do feel like there's going to be some negotiate, a lot of negotiation with this property. There's going to be a lot of back and forth with this property. There's going to be a lot of, um, I feel like you're going to need to take a second, what I'm hearing, a second and a third look, because there's going to be something you want to like double check or make sure of. And you're going to know what it is. And it might be something like you go in knowing this is wrong with the property, but you want to double check on how much it's going to be to fix it or that it can be fixed or something like that. Either way, I do feel like you will find a property. There's going to be some negotiation. There's going to be some back and forth. But you, if you do decide to do this, it will be sometime in the fall, either in the fall that you get into this property or find the property. Okay, love? Oh, okay. 
Okay. And I have to sell this property, so I just hope. I was hoping to buy it first and then, you know, if I can find something and move and then sell this. And I sure hope it's going to go well, you know, to sell this property. And that might be, it, thank you for saying that. And that might be the back and forth um, that you do. It might be that you, um, it might be that you, you, you know, you find a property and then you're going back and forth on yours or making sure of the, pro I don't know what it is, but when you find this property, there's going to be something you're going, you're negotiating on. And maybe the contingency of you get, cause you can do that contingency that this offer is contingent on the fact that my property sells. That is a contingency that a lot of realtors put in. Um, so I do feel like you will find something and everything is going to be moving around the time of fall. Okay, love? Okay, including the sale and selling my place as well as buying is what you're saying. Oh. I I would assume so. I think that's what they're talking about. Um, I don't know when you're going to find, you might find this place, like, let's just say you find this place in, I'm just going to say, for example, this isn't a fact, like, for example, in June, but everything will finalize in, in the fall. So no matter when you find it, everything will finalize in the fall. Now, I'm not sure when you're going to find it. And it is realistic that you could find it in June, end of June, and then just go through all the negotiations and selling your place and then everything finalizes in the fall. But I just feel like everything's going to finalize in the fall. That's the best most solid okay. information and thank that, you so much. You're so welcome. And again, that is based on the fact that that's um that's what you want, and that is um, where, where you're going with it. Okay, love? That is what I can say to you. I'm going to go to the very next caller, who is 703. 703, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, my name is Vicki, calling from Washington, D.C. Hey, Vicki, how can I help and you? And my question... My question is, I had an interview last week. I'm getting ready to have a second interview, not with the same company, with a different company. How do you see them either or panning out? Okay. Of the first, of so the first two interview. Two different companies. Correct. Thank you. The first interview and the second, the first company and the second company. That's the way I'm going to call them. The first company where you did the first okay. interview. Good. Everything is so far so good. There's a lot of competition for that position. And I feel like there's internal competition for that position. Like people within that company are also going for that position. Now, I could have the two positions like um, reversed, but this is the information the way I'm getting it. So this is the way I'm giving it. The second company, the one you're going on the interview with, it's going to go good. It's going to go well. Well, they're using the word well. It's going to go well. Now, there's a third interview coming in. I think the third interview, if I'm getting this correctly, might be with the second company. And that might be where you end up is with the second company. But I do feel like within this month, Within this month, there's a third, okay, and a fourth company, two more companies coming in that you will have the potential to interview with. Take all the interviews you can get, even if you're pretty far along in the process of one of the companies, take the interviews with the new companies just to see what's on the table and to make sure you're getting the best um the best de the best position possible and the way i'm gonna the way they're actually the way spirit is comparing this is like when you're buying a higher ticket item um you really price compare every every place like to make sure you're getting the best deal and that's what they're saying with this price compare and make sure you're getting the absolute best deal with this um 
work seeking seek work seeking thing interview process and getting a job process oh my gosh my words um so make sure you're doing that so that it, it is in it to, um to your benefit and you're getting the best position um what month are we in february march i do feel like by march or by march or in march you are going to be employed but in april now this is important in april an opportunity is going to come around or come back around now whether this is in the company you're at or a new company you have to really look at the opportunity that's being presented to you in april okay even if you're already employed there's going to be an opportunity coming around in April. And if somebody offers you employment before April, obviously take it because this opportunity might be with the same company that you go into. But whatever this opportunity is in April, look at it. Seriously look at it because it's going to be a really good opportunity for you. Okay. Even if it requires. Well, I'm not, I'm not supposed to tell you that yet. You can call me back in April. Um, no matter what this, this I know, right? <laughs> you just call me back in April. I'm not going to give you the rest of the story right now. Uh, if, if no matter what this opportunity in April requires, you need to look, seriously look at it. I'm hearing it could be life changing. However, you do need to be employed before this comes in. So take that, take, take the, um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. If, if a job is offered, if a position is offered, take it because this opportunity that's coming in April, whether it's with the company you're at or a new company, or a, a different branch of the same company, you really need to look at it. Okay. Okay. I think that's, that's it. Enough said. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Thank okay. You. Thank you. I'll keep you posted. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so Thank much. You. Love. you have an amazing rest of the day. You too. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, you guys, if you'd like to ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side, the number is 845-277-9131. If you have a question, please push that one, push the one so that I know you have a question. Um, and I can't remember what the area code of the last caller was, but the next caller I think is 405. So 405, please hold on. Um, uh okay i'm looking to see i'm looking to see if there are any questions online uh mm -hmm. i'm not sure i understand your question and i'm going to read it out loud and um maybe um let me know am i going to move out of peak skill when will that be in you've been for almost 14 years um you know what and i'm getting that's a complete and total choice when you you know you could have done it at any you could have had several points where you could have moved you just have to um let your faith be stronger than your fear is what I'm hearing. Okay, sweetie. I love each and every one of you. Have an amazing weekend if I don't see you before Monday.